Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Vagrant Story. In the last episode what we did was we uh, defeated some ghosts. We got a mighty sword that we can't use because all the enemies seem to be weak to piercing here. Uh, and now we're going to go upwards, I guess. Got to remember what the controls are again. There we go. Yeah, these guys really don't like piercing. I've got a cure root. Thank you. Oh, he's further away than it looks like. Right here. Die already. <laughs> there we go. Put my sword away. Now that I've checked here and there's actually stuff here, let's go the other way and see what's there. Never be too careful. You gotta make sure that each way is a dead end or not. Workshop, work of art. The following materials may be combined wood, leather, and bronze. Okay. So I can combine things, like I said. But how do I do that? Do I press a button in front of the tools? Or do I go in front of this chest? Uh, actually, I do want to check it because I need to put some things in it. That I don't need right now. Store items in the container. Uh, I'd like to put the pink squirrel in there. The soul kiss in there. I'd like to put the rapier in there because the rusty nail is just better. In my opinion. So that'll do. Are these the items from the store? Yes. Let's go back. Oh, I have to save because it. Oh, I guess it's actually keeping track of it. Uh. The other episode went up fine, so I can save over this one. That's fine. To be saved number five. I guess there's a reason to clear the game multiple times. Not that I know what that is, but. So, how do I combine shit? I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> she keeps trying to actually keeps trying to climb shit like hello I could do it. No, I don't want you to climb anything, but Blades So I've got a cross guard right So the, oh I see, okay, so the, um, that's wood, that's bronze, that's leather. Yes, these are all bronze weapons, which is why they're all kind of green. Still doesn't help me actually combine them though. There must be something I'm missing. Which is fine. I'll figure it out eventually. Right. Hang on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be here somewhere. Okay, weapons comprise of braid and grip. Assemble these two parts and equip the completed weapon. You can use the attached gem and disassemble the name commands anywhere. Not just in workshops. DP will affect the amount of wear on armor and weapons. If you use weapons and armor, their DP will drop. When DP reaches zero, the weapon armor's effectiveness is half. 
PP reflects the dark energies absorbed by weapons and armor used within Le Mon. that increases the user weapon or piece of armor. When PP reaches max, the weapon or armor's effectiveness doubles. Restore DP at any workshop by using the repair command under setup in the item menu. Repair D uh, repairing DP drains an equal amount of PP from the weapon or armor. You can check the status of Ashley's armor and weapons by going to status under the item menu. However, you can change the setup or remove any armor weapons to status change display resets. Okay. Ah, okay, so I do it in setup. Right. So I want to assemble, like, a blade. Oh, wait, do I have to disassemble something first? Yeah, I do. Okay. Hang on. So let me take all the weapons out that I didn't want and disassemble them. Okay. Seems kind of odd to actually um, have it like this, but that's okay. I just want to see how this works, so give me a minute. I need to save, yeah. Work of art, workshop. <sighs> right, so I'm going to disassemble all those weapons I don't want and then try and build something cool out of them. And hope that works. This is going to be a. Again, when I'm blind, I have to do figure all these things out for myself. Alright, weapons. Pink scroll, let's disassemble that. Let's disassemble the soul kiss. And let's disassemble the rapier. Any shields I can disassemble? No. Right, so, let's assemble a weapon. I want to use... This blade. That is a, that is a knife. And this grip. A cross guard. Which has eight, six, and two. Right, so I've got that. And I can add a gem to it. Is this going to be my undead killing knife? Because it already has a 20 against undead. Right, so that's going to be my undead killing knife. Yes. The weapon's name is going to be called... Lichbane. Yes, it is okay. Uh, right now, re repair all my items. Yes. Oh, I can fuse things together too. So I want to repair. I want to put my. Hang on. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. All right, if I want to make my knuckles together with another knuckles right what will it actually give me though will it just give me knuckles again oh, it makes okay it makes the undead slightly worse but I don't I'm not gonna mess with that yet because I don't know what I'm doing I'll wait until I have plenty more shit that I don't want so Let's equip our, our Lich Bane. That's 35 undead. And 13 strength somehow. 6 agility, or 6 attack int and 1 agility. So it's the fastest weapon I have. Probably the lowest range, yeah. Okay, and I can have a shield with that. So why not? It's a Taj. So now my attack speed is, or my attack range is going to be like one. Yeah, so I have to be right next to something. But against undead, it should do a lot of damage. There seems to be a lot of undead here. So we'll give it a go. So that's interesting too. I can combine shit and make interesting weapons for myself. And I guess it's also free, so... 
Right, let's attack the body. So that's 56. This guy's alive. Definitely. Oh my god. 69 damage. Hello? This thing is insane against undead. Alright then. Don't mind me. I'll take it. So this is a... That was a like a locked door. Just straight up trap. No chest in here to be interested with. Oh, doesn't look like it. Alright then, let's go back. Yeah, I'm really enjoying myself. It hasn't actually got super hard yet, so maybe I'll stop enjoying myself as soon as it gets hard, but... Right, here we go. I love this weapon. <laughs> At least against undead. It's just ripping them a new asshole. How do I get down without hurting myself? I, I can fall all the way down there. Okay. You know you ain't going to last long. Give it up. And this is without my weapon being double as effective. So that stack of boxes is only to actually get back up there. The rust on the door hinges came off. I didn't know the rust was on the door's hinges. Oh, it's the other side of this room. Okay. Uh oh. That's actually really good. Right. Yeah, this undead killing knife is uh it's pretty choice. So that's where this door would have led. Alright. not dead yet. That's fine. Bye. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but it, again, it doesn't because obviously you'd think a big massive sword would always do more damage than a little knife, but apparently not. The door's been locked. Uh-oh. Oh, someone's crying. You okay? Oh shit. It's lizardmen. These are dragons, apparently. Ow. Give me that health back, little shits. Don't much how much do know how much health they have. Probably a lot. But they seem to be more interested in running away than actually fighting. That's one dead. Glaive. Knuckles. Grimoire antidote. And elixir given to soldiers by Lemon's monks adds a few points of HP. I'll take him. Every time I'm fast on the second one. It's okay. Oh, that was really good. I got a five combo. See ya. Okay, Lily Sigil, Curus, and Spear. All, please. It was an iron spear, though. I mean, I'm going to keep my sweet Lich Bane, but that's also another thing. Like, once you get to name an item, you become more attached to it, or at least I do. So, I don't want to use anything else. 
Unless I come up against something that undead does nothing to. Like this 35 on undead doesn't do anything. Which I'm sure there'll be plenty of time for that. So anytime there's a workshop, what I'm really going to want to do... I wonder if this is an undead beast. Hope my knife really is just that powerful. Oh, so blue is excellent. These are good condition. I wonder what makes them go higher. Hmm. What's the status of my... No, I didn't want to put the weapon away, you knob. I have a light affinity of 22, piercing of 2, but undead 35, phantom 12, minus 1 against dragon, but 5 against evil. So it's positive in every disrespect against, apart from against dragon. Is there any weapon that I have that is really good against dragon? The spear and the fandango have a natural affinity of 1 towards dragon, but... I'm thinking, an, I'm thinking an affinity of 35 is probably pretty good. Somehow. I think um, Ashley's affinity gets better over time. That's what I'm thinking. And his condition will get better over time as well. That eventually my arms will heal and my body will heal. And it will be good with the world. What a fucking jump. He's incredible. Much better than most action protagonists that can't do anything. That's one tile high. Can't jump that. Too big. Ow. Fuck you. Boots. Organize my inventory. My armor is full. Yes, I discard the sandals. Then I get to keep the boots. And put them on immediately. So what I should be doing is starting to equip some uh, boots and things. Long boots are just better, but that's okay. Should also be putting some of that shit away in the chest as well. I think the chest that I was just using is just over here, so. Bye. Ooh. A new ability. Fix an additional amount of damage equal to 10% of the damage Ashley has sustained. So if I had one hit point left, it'd be doing 25.4 damage or 25.3 damage. So that's not actually that much. Now that I know that PP increases the attack power by two, two times, I think that's what I want to do. I think I want to put instill on circle instead of gain life. Gaining life is super cool, but I've got lots of healing items for now. And if I can ever buy any more, not that there's any money in this game, it doesn't look like then that's what I'll do. That's the Lily Sigil draw. I remember that from last time. Right, so let's go back in here and put my shit away. I've got lots of stuff I don't need. No. Let's actually combine some. Why not? I've got plenty of it. I can't carry any more weapons. I can combine armor though. All right, let's combine the jerkin with another jerkin. No, with a curus. So I end up with a curus that has that much. Is there any benefit to doing this at all? I mean, I can because it makes things easier, but I don't understand what the point of it would be. Like, say I make a curious and then put some boots on it. What does it do?
I don't know that it increases anything at all. Besides makes the uh, durability worse. Unless it is purely just to get more shit out of it. Hmm. Can't say I understand yet what the point of that is. I'll figure it out one day, but I, I just don't get it. Oh, I can't do iron here. So I make a spatha, like that. A sword with a wide blade, a one-handed sword. If I replace the, that with a two-handed glaive, I get a battle knife. That's really weird. <laughs> but, okay, I guess there's lots of different combinations you have to figure out. Spear does nothing. Skimmy does that. Making an axe makes another axe. The bow makes a knife. Okay, I'll figure it out. So for now, I guess, just keep everything as it was. Yep. Yeah. And then put the armor away in the chest that I don't need. And then come back to it later on, when I figure out what it is I want to do with it. I always look at the chest farts. It's just funny to me. Store those. I'm just going to store everything I don't have equipped right now. That seems fair. Iron knuckles. You're giving me a lot more space to work with. We're full on weapons too, but that's because I didn't put these away again. I'm going to keep the iron spear. Because it seems to be... I think iron's better than bronze, or at least in most games it is. So, I'm going to put the rusty nail away and keep the spear. Uh... Take the axe away, I never use it. Okay, that seems good. I'm allowed to store 64 things in the container. So eventually I'll have to start mixing things and hoping things sort themselves out. I'm, I'm thinking that mixing things with different materials will be better, like making an alloy, rather than trying to mix two things of the same material. That's what I'm going for. Like reinforcing a blade strength by mixing an iron blade with a bronze blade. Not that I know that that works in real life, I don't know. But that's what I imagine. Yeah, I just saved. So let's go. Lily's sigil turned to dust. Uh oh. Hello, friend. Are you undead or are you just mean? Do not att attempt escape, and no harm will come to you. What evil are you working here? Just a little drawing, my dear. What think you, Harden? Gods, is he even human? He fights with the strength of a brigade. A wrist breaker's all this powerful. I think not. Our Ashley is a vessel, you see. He has merely partaken of the power around him. It is as I have foreseen. What next, then? What next? Let him give chase a while. This is madness, Sydney. The blades will hold this town soon and we dare not face their undivided forces. We've no time to play cat and mouse. Relax, my good Harden. Remember, it is all part of my plan. With the Duke's betrayals, the Cardinal's meddling, and a wrist as strong as a bloody titan all part of your precious plan too, Sydney. Sydney, forgive me. Be calm, Harden. It is of no account. You impress me, Inquisitor. More concerned about our doings than your own fate. What villainy are you planning, Sydney? Why, well, I'm preparing a feast for your friend. 
Gildemund, Satis Motha, Fertusvadi, Selbigi Motha, Emperor of Shade, descend from the dark. Honor since soaked contracts of kinship. Lead your beast unto me. I must help father. What? <laughs> what? Malos? Ow. My sword wielding hands hurting. Okay. This is the new section. I know what I have to do. Just by the way. Because I can jump onto one tile high. Oh, I thought I could. Maybe I can do it. Can I push both at once? No, I need to destroy one. Okay, fine. Put this down here. Destroy one of the boxes. Doesn't really matter which one. There we go. How does this help me, you ask? Because then I can do this. There we go. All right. Upward. Block push up. Block puzzles I'm actually pretty good at. I've played enough Zelda to be okay at block puzzles. hell are they? Doesn't look very friendly, whatever it is. Cure root. Take it. Mm. So I got 8 PP for that. I don't know how much 8 PP is, but I'll take it. Are we in a catacombs now? Uh oh. There's more guys. Ow. Hey. You ain't getting away. Bye bye. I'd really like my uh, dagger to get to the next level, and that'd be really cool, because I can just do stupidly good uh, attacks with it. I believe this water's going to kill me, so I'm not even going to try. Sydney doesn't remind me of the best swimmer ever. I'm wearing high, heavy iron gear and shit. Ashley was reclaimed the dagger break art while well, whistle sting from his suppressed memory. Whistle stink. Bludgeon's foe with focused power from the blade. So it's a blunt strike with my dagger. But it probably is pretty powerful, I'm imagining. Hmm. This is an interesting. Looks like there's no way up from here. That's just my gut reaction is that I can't get up yet. Although, maybe I can. Let's try. Don't just say it can't be done until you try. Actually, it looks like something I can climb. Right. What's the purpose? I can't summon that over here, so there's still a way back. But once I activate that platform, I think I will probably be able to go back and forth. It's just like a shortcut. Okay. I see. Oh, oh. Lose me. You don't know where I am. Okay. Bye. This thing's good against slimes as well. What isn't this dagger good against? This dagger's incredible. Yeah. 
see ya. Right. So there's a door there that's locked. I'm going to keep going right for now. There's a big door. Uh oh. I did it too fast again. Took 47 damage for the privilege too. Oh, bye. Nay, you must die. How dare you stand in my presence? Ooh. Take it. It's banded mail. I think that's what he's wearing. Not that it shows on Ashley's model, but that's okay. Through the door here. Yeah, this thing's gonna... Oh, shit. Am I poisoned? Yeah, I am. Okay. Yep, I need that. I'm gonna use one immediately. Cure this shit. I don't know how bad poison is in this game, but it probably isn't great. Poison from the infected wound. I wish there, one thing I would say is I wish there was a little uh, second button there that says use. So if I got an item that cured or got rid of poison or something, I could use it immediately. That'd be nice. I'm sure they'd do that if they ever remade the game. Seems like a fairly obvious thing. But this game is already very ambitious. Uh oh. Shit. That's a golem. That's a stone golem that I have to fight. Actually, streamer, it's golem? I know. Fuck off. I know what it was anyway. Whoa, whoa. Why did I do this to myself? Oh, have I got a... This is what I want. I need to debilitate it. Fuck off. What do you mean there's no target in range? Now there must be a target in range. There we go. Degenerate. Please work. There we go. Mastered the spell. Degenerate. To be able to hit its head. I know. I'll hit its legs and then it'll fall over. Uh oh. Okay, so that's good. So the degeneration is still working. At all. I'm thinking this must be what you do. Or, okay, so I can cast magic now whenever I want. But I need to actually learn the items first, so I need to cast them in a fight once. Okay, so the magic isn't as bad as I thought. I thought it might be really hard to actually get magic to use if it's only one time use. It isn't. You just use it once and then you learn it. Right, so. Uh, I guess it's time for more magic. That's what I'm gonna use.
Okay, I'm gonna use heal on myself. Heal's 106. Holy shit. And I learn heal. It increases risk a lot, though. Okay. Well. Need to put his strength down again. He's hitting me for the full beans now. Unless that was his strength down and he crit me, which is also possible. Come on, fall down already. Got right, a new plan. I'm going to go for his head. Which involves shooting him from far away. body also takes some damage, it looks like. What I wouldn't give for some freaking slowdown. But let's remove risk. Risk is getting a bit high. could also be pretty good. Maybe it's weak against magic, but no, 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 don't think about that now. Think about removing risk. Okay, I'm coming in. I'm coming in with the big magic. Hello. Go for the arms, it's the best chance I've got. Learn Spirit Surge, but that costs a lot of MP. Okay. I will defeat it eventually. Purely by doing some damage. Just don't know how much damage I have to do. Even five here and there will do some damage. And it will be good. And this weapon's so strong, I can keep him away. Oh, I mean, so far ranged, I can keep him away. Granite punch! It's too slow. Okay. Killable then. I wonder if that raises risk too. Probably, right? Probably all raises risk. risk all the way down. There we go. Right. Now we can go again. No, please stop. Stop that. Stop it. No fair. spamming this, I'm going to be really upset with you. I might be able to take another one, but I don't want to risk that. At least the boss theme's cool. Right. I'm ready to go. Have I got something that boosts my strength? Like a magic item that boosts my strength? Yeah, but I mean like a spell, mainly. I know what I meant. No. Okay. Well, let's try a big massive sword then. Piercing doesn't seem to be doing a lot. What about an edge sword? We'll try that. 
I'm not expecting great things, to be honest. Get countered, son. So countering seems to do actually quite a lot of damage to him, so that's what I'm going to keep doing. And if it ain't working, I might as well keep what I've already had going. Because it's doing just as much damage. And he doesn't seem to do granite punch when I'm right next to him. Which is good. Oh, okay. I just find it kind of funny how I literally can't hit anything else. Because I'm range is so small, I literally can't hit anything else. I think I killed it. So I imagine that a crushing weapon would have done good damage against him, but I didn't bring a crushing weapon. Or blunt. <laughs> Come on, strength. Well, more HP is fine. Elixir of Dragoons. Prostatia. Temporarily raises target's equipment. That's what I wanted before. Or please. Select a ability. Okay. I guess I can go for a defensive ability. Just to get more uh, affinities to certain things. Terror Ward. Guard against Earth. Ah! Good thing I already know how to get over there, isn't it? Perfect. So I wonder if the other room is a safe point. It wouldn't surprise me. I'd probably walk straight into a boss without knowing it. I also don't know how easy it is to farm things in this game. Probably not very. Ow. Fuck you. You son of a bitch. He got two shots off on me. And I couldn't counter either of them. I was too slow. Just don't die before you get back in the room, yeah? I mean, they're giving me cure bulbs, so probably isn't too hard. Save point? No, nope. it's a ghost. It's a ghost fight. Okay. I really don't think, yeah, it's not going to last very long. Door's still not unlocked though, because there's a skeleton. Bye bye. Guaranteed drops? Yeah, it looks like it. I'm gonna take it. Thanks very much. Excellent. Onward. Which I mean, backward. Shit. Damn it. Too slow. You're dead. Goodbye. Oh no. 
Please kill. It's panic time. It's panic time. Nope, we're good. Panic rescinded. Where's the fucking save point? Is it up top? It could be up top. Ow. See you. I'm leaving. Uh, I've got magic. I might as well heal. Unless it actually hurts me to heal. I don't think it will, though. Like, it makes my score lower. It could make my score lower. But then if that's the case, then actually just healing probably does the same thing. Fuck you. These guys are doing my head in. Ooh. I have Argon. Come here. Thank you. One downside of the knife. It's only one downside. It's a... Uh, range is poop. Don't tell me I can't reach that. I know I can. There we go. Can't even hit this guy from down here. How do you miss an 88%? Or seventy two percent. Twice. But then hit a forty five. See ya. These rooms confuse me. How do you know I'm here? <gasps> Chesticle. Okay. He has a big axe or big sword, so I'm gonna heal again. Last thing I need is to die after I've fought the boss. I've done all the hard work. I don't need to die after that. Ugh. Oh, yeah. What a leap. <laughs> don't mind me, skeleton. A bossom cleaver. Oh, that would have helped, probably. Shit. Dragonite. Stops the room's cloud stones from fixing. From moving, sorry. Fixate is the move. Okay. That actually wouldn't have killed me. But I wouldn't have known for sure if he would have got two hits or not. Bye. the door. Oh, that's the, the door with the lock on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I hit its leads out and it had move 50%. <gasps> Full heal. I got an elixir. Sweet. I bet that's a rare drop. Bone held. Thank you. I'll take it. Was there a save room in the room of the boxes? I just don't remember. Possibly. Shit. Shit. No, sir. really good. I love that. See ya. A great axe. Hmm. Okay. I could be convinced to use a great axe. It's going to have to be a save point here somewhere. Don't try and fuck with me. 
<coughs> Excuse me. A bit of Weetabix is in my throat or something. Uh oh. immediately again. A very chortle. I bet they don't drop them every time either. I bet it's quite a rare affair. I've just been getting lucky. <sighs> Thank you for the heal. Heal seems like a fairly inexpensive magic for what it does. AKA heals me. Oh, oh. Don't fall off. Don't know if the game will let me fall off, but it probably will let me fall off. Oh, you dick. Every time fast on that circle. See ya. Okay. We're on the other side of this now. There's a check. <gasps> He's done it. It's a safe part, baby. Safe part. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little bit excited. Let's see what the Great Hammer looks like. The Bosom Cleaver. Yeah, it's just a massive hammer, the same as they use. And the Great Axe. It's pretty good. No, it looks pretty good. My agility goes to poop, but... Stick with the Lichbane. My little chiv. Now I need to get a dragon slaying weapon too. I'm imagining there's going to be more dragons. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to save nearly an hour long episode. But I'm into it. I'm getting into it. So I'll say thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you guys next time when we fight some dragons and possibly win. Whatever that means. Do some good shit. This is going to be save eight. And it should be about 2 hours 40 playtime. Ish. Yeah. There we go. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye bye.